Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back, Beaker here, and we've got a fun video today. We're gonna compare the three different ways of breaking through walls. There is, of course, Earthquake, Jump Spell, and the good old fashioned wall breakers. So we've got three raids in store. These are all high level trophy pushing raids and they each showcase a different way of getting through walls. So first up, we've got Earthquake and I have some problems with Earthquake. I think it's really cool, but I think it takes up too much space. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm really interested to hear if you guys have been using Earthquake with good results, let me know. I just think it takes up too much space. For instance, here, this was four spell spaces to get through basically one section of wall. Two jumps would have been the same amount of space and two jumps would have done more, but it, it did work really well. Look at the giant opening that those earthquake spells made. Also, it did some damage to the nearby buildings and it's permanent. Unlike a jump spell, which can wear off after time, a giant hole in the base is not gonna wear off. So, you know, I do like the earthquake spell. I, I think it's a really cool spell, spells. But uh, I'm not sure I'm going to use it yet. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So anyway, back to this raid. This is a sick raid. So golems, wizards, and valkyries. I love these raids. And it works really well on these big open bases. Especially on ones with single infernos. You saw the valkyries basically cleared out the core by themselves. They overtook the queen. They overtook the single inferno really, really easily. So he's on his way to a three star right now. If that queen can get out of that cage she was kind of trapped in the middle there looks like she got out though she might be able to fight her way all the way to a three star here let's see what happens so yeah really interesting raid guys interesting use of the earthquake spell i think using four spells to get through one set of walls is a little too much but i suppose if you used it just right you know in this case he actually took out two rows of walls so if you use it just right Maybe the Earthquake spell is worth it. Maybe it's worth the four spaces. I don't know. Again, let me know what you guys think. I'm really interested to hear what the general consensus is and if people are even using the Earthquake spell. I'm kind of thinking it might be the least used spell so far. Hay spell, Poison spell, they're very useful. You know, anybody can use those. So anyways, guys, moving on. We're moving on to my favorite, which is, of course, jump spells actually a jump spell wall breaker combo is what i prefer i bring a couple wall breakers just to put on the corners you guys see me do this in my trophy raids i open up the corners put a couple of golems on each side and then the jump spells are really just for the main push the push straight in to the core now that's really important for me it makes it very easy when i have two jumps i've tried more jumps i've tried less but i think having two is a really great combo because look i'm just going to go in a straight line first jump second jump town hall you know it's making it really easy so that's why i like jump spells they kind of simplify the raid you know all i all i have to do that's really complicated is get those wall breakers to hit their targets and then it's just jump jump boom done so i also like jump spells because they kind of pull your troops in you know they kind of focus your troops in and pull them into where they're supposed to be it looks like this jump spell is pulling my wizards right into a giant bomb that was that was classy huh looks like we're gonna be okay though we're in the core we got some golems heroes everybody's in good health we had several freeze spells so we were able to freeze that single inferno take it out of commission for a couple of seconds and now we are good so that's something I like about having two jumps. You're able to have plenty of other spells. You know, at Tunnel 10, you have plenty of room for two freezes and a rage if you want. I like two freeze, two jump, and then whatever else. Usually one rage. But I feel like that combo, you can get into almost any base, and it especially excels at these big open box bases. And that's, you know, one of the most common things you see when you're trophy pushing. These big open box bases. So it's good to have an army that can hit these easily. So that's my case for jump spells, guys. I'm kind of a jump spell guy. Guys. <laughs> but anyway, on to the final. We can't forget to mention wall breakers. Now, when I was a Town Hall 9, and even when I first got to Town Hall 10, I really enjoyed trophy pushing and clan wars with the 20 wall breaker army. 20 wall breakers is a lot, or I, sometimes I'd even use 24, but it does work. You just got to be really on target and you 
got to have some rage spells. But that's the thing. If you don't use jumps, if you don't use earthquakes, you've got tons of room for freeze and rage spells. And that makes for a really easy raid. This guy, you know, I'm not saying he was sloppy, but he can be kind of sloppy because those three freezes, he can just freeze and freeze and refreeze everything in the core, all those dangerous defenses. And he'll stay alive because of it. He'll keep his troops alive. He'll get them in there faster with those rage spells. I mean, you know, this wasn't a bad raid by any means. But his right now, his troops, they're not focused on the core. It took him a while. Now they're getting back in. He's on track now. Archer Queen is there. He's able to refreeze everything for the third time. I mean, you can't argue with that. So I think if you can get into a base with wall breakers, that's actually the most efficient way by far because... That's going to allow you to use other spells. But if you're not a wall breaker kind of guy, maybe a combo of the two jumps and wall breakers. You know, I'm going to try that. I'm going to see if I can go back to using one jump spell, some wall breakers, you know, maybe 10 to 15 wall breakers, one jump spell, and then I'll be able to bring another rage or another freeze. And that might make everything easier or it might make me fail because I'm not used to it. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't talk about this base, guys, but look at how ugly this base is. I, I tried to make ugliest base of the year, and I think I succeeded. That was the idea. I just wanted to kind of throw people off, you know? You make a, a, a weird base that nobody's ever seen before, and sometimes they fail. They didn't fail yet, but maybe. Maybe sometime soon. So, anyways, guys, vote for what you like down below. Wall breakers, jumps, or earthquake. Let me know what you like in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, let me know that too. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!